Hey YouTube, what is up? It's Sunday morning and cloudy and cool here in Southern California. Hey, all right. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of questions on this laptop. This is the Lenovo Y700 ACZ 15 ACZ blah blah blah. It's got the Radeon FX 8800P in it and Radeon R9 M380 graphics and a lot of people have been asking me hey you know how do I get the 385 the R9 M385 graphics well what it's doing is that it's taking the R7 graphics of the APU and the M380 and when it's in crossfire connected whatever linked it comes out as a M385, okay? I haven't figured out how you run them separate. They're always pretty much linked, so that's what you get. But you also get good performance that way. And that's part of the, one of the reasons I wanna do a video is people have been asking me, how are you getting good performance on games like Far Cry 4 and, and League of Legends and let me just show you. If you have this laptop and you want performance, first thing you gotta do is get the latest drivers. So head to amd.com. Go to drivers and support, latest APU for Windows 10 64 bit. I'm currently running this this version right here released on February 23rd so download that install them once you got them on, all installed you usually got to restart open up your Radeon settings now once you've got the Radeon settings open go to preferences go to additional settings and wait for the other window to pop up. Looks like the old Catalyst Control Center. Be patient, it will pop up. I thought this thing was fast. Well, come on, you know, not everything loads in two seconds. Get over it. But yeah, it is kind of annoying. There it is, see, told you. Here we go, yeah. Now go to your power settings, see? Power. Ah, let me move the camera. Power settings, right here. Go to power play. Oh, grasshopper. Here we are. When plugged in, you want it set to maximum performance, okay? You don't want it set to optimize the battery. And I don't know how you want to run this thing when you're not plugged in, but that's up to you. But you could change that right here too. We're not done. Go to the switchable graphics. This is the important one. I got it set to maximum performance plugged in and on battery. But anyway, make sure if you have this laptop and you want it, you know, you want it to perform well, go into these settings and make it maximum performance now if you're on battery only on maximum performance you're probably not going to get a whole lot of battery life i tend to not run this thing on the battery only and when i do i'm just poking around on the internet and it lasts you know three or four hours gaming i, I don't do it that way it's better to do gaming plugged in let me just throw that out there it's up to you what you want to do but yeah this laptop it does perform well. I mean, I got it for 700 bucks. It's playing all the games I throw at it, and I think I think it's a good deal. I mean, you could spend a lot more money on a higher, um, you know, a better gaming laptop. There's plenty of laptops that'll blow this thing out of the water, but how much money do you got to spend, and what are you looking for, right? 
But anyway, if you have this laptop, remember, get the latest drivers and go in here. Let me show you again. Let me go to like something different here. You want to be on the home screen of the Radeon settings. And you want to go to preferences and go to additional settings. Say when you run it again, now it's in the cache, it pops up a lot quicker. And you want to go to your power settings. Make sure you're set to maximum performance. And I believe in here you can, based on what app you're running, you can tell it to run maximum or power saving. I just let have it run maximum all the time. So there you have it. If you want, it, want performance, do that. Give it a shot. I'm not making any guarantees, but I think you'll be be happy with how this performs for the price. I mean, it's a beautiful laptop. The display is crisp. It's sharp. It's got excellent viewing angles. The speakers on this thing, they kick ass. You know, I'm not going to complain. I've been playing The Witcher 3 for a few weeks now. No hiccups. It plays smooth, and that's at 1080p. So anyway, there you have it. Good luck.